So this is the fifth one, which is markup and margin. These are some ratio from your ratio analysis, uh, your previous studies. Uh, markup is a, a profit, basically, is applied on cost of sales. And margin is applied on sales to find the profit. And the formula is, uh, if it is markup, gross profit over cost of sales times by 100, you get in terms of percentage. And if it is a margin, gross profit over sales times by 100. Now, the higher, the better, because these are your uh, profit. Yep. But it becomes a bit complicated if markup given, but not the cost price, rather sales price given. So you need to convert it. There are quite a few ways of doing it. I have developed my way. I will show you. And before that, you should understand the relationship of your cost and profit. Yeah, cost plus profit makes your sales. Okay, bear in mind for the conversion of markup and margin. If it is a, let's assume, markup, uh, markup, then we always assume our cost is 100%. Let's assume markup profit is like 20%, plus profit is 20%. And your sales would be 120 percent yep but what if it's a margin profit given uh, let's assume it's a margin you assume your sales is 100 percent not cost and um, profit is 20 percent and your cost would be 80 percent okie dokie all right so uh, if you remember this, we will apply uh, this knowledge in few examples. We'll start with the very basic and easy one. There are four examples given. Okay, they said uh, sales figure of 70,000 and margin is 40%. What is your profit? You just do your 70,000 times by 40% because margin is a profit we apply on selling price, so 70,000 times by 40%, you're left with 28,000, the simple as it is. If the same question being asked, the second one, given its selling price and mark of 40%, now, what is the profit? Can you apply 40% on 70,000? Answer is no. Because markup is a profit that that's what you apply on your cost. How do you find then? Okay, you follow my previous formula cost plus profit equals to sales. And if it is a margin, you need to remember your sales is 100%. This time it's a margin. Nope, sorry, this time it's a markup. Doesn't matter. So if it's a markup, your cost is 100%. And we'll follow the same formula. Have a look. Cost plus profit equals to sales. Okay, markup profit is 40%. And we said if it is a markup, cost is 100%. And your sales would be 140%. Okay, what is the selling price? It's 70,000 divided by 140 times by, we need profit times by 40. Let's get the calculator, 70,000 divided by 140 times by 40, and my answer is 20,000. That's our profit. And obviously the cost would be 50,000. And boom, that's how you do the answer. Well, uh, the markup, number three, cost is 45,000, markup is 30 35%. So 45,000 times by 35% and... The answer is 45,000 times by 35% is 15,750. Easy peasy, but it can be a bit complicated if they give you margin and cost. No, you can't apply margin percentage with on your cost on this markup. But you follow my formula, conversion, cost plus profit equals to sales. And what I told you before, that if it's a margin, 
uh, profit is 30, 35% rather. Your sales is always 100%. And uh, Sixty-five percent is your cost. Now, which figure is given? Cost figure is given. Forty-five thousand is given. If you divide by sixty-five times by thirty-five, you're gonna get the answer. So, forty-five thousand divided by sixty. Oops, forty-five thousand divided by sixty-five times by thirty-five. My answer is little fraction. Okay, the answer is. It's a fraction again, two, four, two, three, I'll take one. Okay, so if you add with your cost, you get six, nine, two, three, one. That's how you do your conversions. Okay, we will do one small question, um, an example. Yeah, this is our example. Uh, it's very straightforward, but um, uh, this is a number five requirement out of those uh, um, eight. This is a uh, number five. Okay, this example and could be one or two more similar. We will do in our next videos. Uh, thanks for joining.